For most people, choosing a holiday destination is very important, especially during the festive season. My colleague and I decided to go online and search and the first name that came was Rapids Camp. Rapids Camp is about an hour's drive from the main road and we decided to check it out and see what it has to offer. Camping is definitely one of the activities here, but when the weather gets too hot, there is a bunch of other water activities that you can engage in. The plunging, this is when you go up on the waterfall at the cliff, which is about 40 feet, and then you make a free fall. This is when you jump from the waterfall into the river, which is more fun. This is when you scream, call your mommy and have fun. This is good for the teamwork. This is when you go as a team and you try to challenge the waterfall until you go behind the falls where we have a cave. We also do what you call Sagana River Therapy. This is when you ride on the rapids, ride on your back. And then the water will flow on top of you for about an hour. You don't need a massage, you'll be good by the time you're done. The other ones are there like uh, for right water rafting, which is, goes for 7,200, which is three and a half hours, 14 kilometers in the river. This is when you come down having a real adventure as you come down. In order for you to take part in any water activity, you have to be fully dressed. You have to have a helmet and a life jacket in order to be safe in the water. As the activities that are being taken here are adrenaline junkie. If you are ready to overcome fear and you are courageous enough, to fight with the water, then you can as well go ahead. A lot of adrenaline and uh, finally a little bit of sport and fun with good friends. I want to jump off the waterfall. I can't swim by the way. I was the first Kenyan uh, to start um, uh, adrenaline uh, activities, um, uh, rafting and um, uh, kayaking, um, uh, uh, rock climbing here. Yeah. <laughs> This um, activity or this kind of tourism was perceived as a white man, uh, you know, um, experience or jobs. Down we do moonlight walks, an entrance fee of six hundred to 7,200 shillings. So the activities that are offered here are so far epic. If you're a person looking for a place to go for any holiday destination, I would simply recommend this place if you love water activities. And remember to make your reservations early enough because a lot of people will be visiting. From K24, I'm Ivy Vuguza. And I'm Sarah Adam reporting from Muranga County.